Right, hello, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. Today we've got an Electrolux commercial washing machine. It's a quick wash model. Um, this is brand new in box. I think it's a couple of years old. Um, I collected it off eBay today. Had to drive about six hours there and back. Um, and yeah, I think the customer brought it for their house, um, but realised that it was bigger than a domestic washing machine, and they changed their mind. They had a Miele professional dryer as well. They sold a few weeks before I picked this up, um, which I didn't want. Um, but I decided I'd go for this when I saw it. Um, paid 500 quid for it, which really isn't bad for a brand new machine that retails between two and a half, three grand when new. So I think I've done all right. Anyway, we're going to unbox it say have a look at it. Uh, machine presentation when it's new, take the uh, transit brackets out, we'll quickly power it on. I uh, won't put it to water and electric, maybe electric, but not to water. Um, today anyway, I'll have a quick look at the machine today, that's all today will be. So let's get this box off. But before we do, we'll have a quick look at machine presentation in box. So we've got the front here, the Electrolux machine is on a wooden pallet. Um, it's held on with two ratchet straps. Got a sticker on the side which says what model designation we've got. Um, product code made in Thailand by Electrolux. Um, but yeah, these ones aren't made in sweden like they used to be um but the quality is still there it's like i had a bosch washer dry made in china uh, a few years ago but that was you wouldn't know uh so the side got the electrolux patch on again i think it's 2020 april um looking at the date stamp on there around the back back really it and the other side looks exactly the same um, with another sticker on there right let's get the cardboard box off So what we got then, we have an Electrolux Quick Wash QWC. And I'm quite happy that it's this model. Um, it matches my quick dry tumble dryer. They did two versions of the Quick Wash, but the box didn't say if it was just the Quick Wash or the QWC. So I'd assume, because it had the new logo on, it would be one of these, but they did a version which is based on the W455H with the smaller plastic dial um, and a black door handle. The dial would have looked like the 4 Series tumble dryer. And that's the matching tumble jar up there. So I'm quite happy it's a matching set. What we got on top then, we have some polystyrene corners. Get rid of those. We have a piece of plastic which is taped to the machine. that. Uh, we've got a piece of orange paper here. Oh, it's so fresh. A piece of orange paper here, which says turn to select the language. Um, and to do that when you power it on, that's fine. Um, I think because it's a quick wash, it should have a three pin plug on it already. Let's have a quick look. It does, happy days. Have a look at the back in a minute. What else we've got? We've got a pouch with some sheets of paper. Oh. Um, declaration of conformity. Yeah, okay, right. Useful, I guess, maybe not. And uh, then we've got a label here, which I want to get off and preserve. That might be easy at all. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
Uh, so this has got all of our machine information on that I was looking for. Well, it's on the outside box. It's based on W455H. Um, is there a date on this? Yeah, here we go. 2nd of April 2020. So there we go. Let's have a look a bit further down then. Let's have a quick look then. We've got soap tray, which is exactly the same as the W555H, just a lot cleaner. Other side, we've got the little LCD display and we have our metal dial. That's so solid. Right, then inside the drum we have another A5 plastic wallet with some booklets in it, user manual. And we've got a hooked end support. Let's see what else we've got. Can I open it? Here we go, come on Chris. Right, we have some stickers. Great. Uh, quick start user manual. In one language. In another 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 language. Another language. And we have reply to Sweden our oh, product registration very nice uh, drum same as the all the other retroluxes I've got a 55 litre drum um, with an induction motor on it on the bottom then we've got a little filter flap uh, that's got a sticker that comes off um, Push that in, the flap comes down, there's a little drain hose, the bung in the end and the filter pulls out. So let's just have a better look at the paperwork. This was the guarantee registration, which we won't be filling in. Um, name, address, postcode, phone, um, service provider, etc, etc. Um, so all of these were in every other language, except one. Quick start, installation manual, washer extractor. Let's move around here, a bit easier to deal with. Let's get rid of all this. Note, contains technical documentation which belongs to machine and shall be kept. Yep, that's fine. So we've got what have we got? Uh, Matter with the transit bolts. You've got to fit the feet on the washing machine as well. Um, collecting for your water supplies, drain valve models and pump drain models like this. Uh, connection. This has already been done. Had to change in between different voltages and current draw. Again, already been done, it's got a three-pin plug on it. Um, first power up, setting the language, time and date. And that's literally it. Thanks, lads. Next. So a quick look around the back then. We've got the ratings plate up on the top. Um, the machine's only cold fill, which I didn't realise. And we've got a long drain hose, it's the pump drain model and a moulded three pin plug which is the advantage of the quick wash model. And that's literally it from around the back. Right so first off let's take a look inside the lid. I've taken the three screws out. Ah, hang on a minute. So we have our stainless steel drum, we have our soap jaw box, We've got display boards at the front. We have our motor module here. We 
the back we have our power supply board, we have two pressure switches and we have the contact lift to take the heater current out of the main control module basically. Underneath this uh, power supply module is two other boards which um, are the machine's logic boards. And then in the far corner we have a four-way cold inlet valve. Let's get the front off. Right, let's get these two screws out. There's one, put that somewhere safe. On the styrene and the second one. So there we go. So then in the front we have our bag of, uh, we've got our four feet in there and some bar thing for doing something. Uh, we've got a bracket here at the front. There's assuming okay. The other bolts are on there. Uh, we've got the drain pump, you can see two water in pipes and a grey outlet. Have a quick look at this filter while we're here. That pops out like so. Oops, missed that. Oh, there we go. A bit of water in there, but yeah, that's the filter anyway. Can't do this one handed. Here we go. Oh, why did I open that? Idiot. So, I've also noticed the machine is bolted to the pallet there. I thought it was held by the ratchet straps, but that'd be a bit weak. Um, so, we've got to take this bar out. There's some locking nuts on the underside, which is going to be fun and games. And there's two at the back, one either side. So, again, that's going to be fun and games. You can just see it poking through there at the back. Anyway, we'll have the back off as well, so um, we should be able to get to it a bit easier. Let's see what we can do. Right, so I've loosened or well, taken out the two front um, bolts holding the bracket in. There's two more at the top of the drum, but I think it'd be easier to get to it with the back off and then get to the other two at the back. So let's have a look around there. Right, so we've got the back off. I'll show you quickly what's going on in the back. So we've got a standard setup across the range. We've got two heat elements, although only one is used on this model. Um, we've got the same drum, of course, as well. So on the sluice machines, there will be another hose on here, um, which links up with this part of plastic. Obviously, this will be one thick drain hose. Um, so what will happen is on the sluice program, the machine will overfill past this point. Sluice stuff floats out in there, bypassing the drain valve and straight out down the drain. So that's what that's for. Uh, the drain hose just goes through that plastic duct, which is quite a neat design, I suppose. Um, and there's a Jubilee clip and a holder on there. Um, you see the pressure bottle elements, motor, transit brackets, which I'm going to take out in a sec. We've got another bolt on the machine here at the back. You can see through the front to the cooling fan on the pump. Um, and that's about it really. So yeah, I'm going to work on getting these three transit brackets. I won't film that because um, I think it's going to take a bit of time and persuasion. So yeah, I'll catch up when they're off. Right, so the back two braces are now removed and so is the bolt holding to the pallet. So I'm going to open the packet with the feet up and put those in, the back at least, and then I'll put the back back on, take the front bar or bracket out and fit the front two feet. Right, so the lid's back on and the back is back on and we have feet installed at the back on both sides. Right, so there we go. All the brackets have been removed. I've put all the panels back on and all the feet are installed. So all that's left to do now is cut the cable tie securing the plug wire and we can plug it in, set the language to see what programs this thing's got. Right, here goes in, one plug.
Right, the time now is, I don't actually know. Let's have a look. Hang on. Right, so it's 18.49. What month are we in? We're in May. And I haven't a clue what the day is today. Um, I can't remember the 10th, that'll do. What the heck? Right, so programs we have normal 40, 60 minutes, normal 60, 60 minutes, normal 60 heavy soil, 60 minutes. I think that 60 minutes is the default set time. The machine will store the actual runtime of each program um, after it does it each time, so it can fluctuate and change. Um, normal 95 heavy soil, mild 40, mild 60. Mile 30, which my uh, blue Electrolux doesn't have. Hand wash. Set hanging ridge. That might be all we've got at the moment. I'll pop into service mode and see if we've got some other programs hidden away. Right, so I forget where it is. I'm guessing it's in program parameters. Um, activated programs. Yeah, here we go. So we've got some more towel cycles we can activate. We've got towel 60, towels 95, go away. Um, normal 30, wool 40, machine clean. And that's your lot. So there's a couple of extra cycles on there that haven't been activated. Um, I believe we've got calibration in here somewhere. I'll have to go through it. Um, and I've connected it to electricity. So that's your lot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there'll be videos of it washing at some point on my channel. Um, don't know when. All I do know is it'll be paired in the garage with the black tumble dryer. All in good time though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, goodbye.